and welcome to the EEPROM 9, where we do exciting shit like record videos about calculators. You know, that can be possibly can be considered boring or mundane in any way. So, today's item of it, awesomeness, it arrived at work today, because this job lets me actually have my eBay stuff posted to work, which means it bypasses the whole mum... Uh, evaluation security process which is fantastic that gets a thumbs up and so we have this beautiful specimen which is an early TI desk calculator in front of one of their first attempts a Texas Instruments TI 3500 there also was a 3000 model which was slightly less advanced of an eight digit display this actually has a um, nine digit panplex display but the ninth digit is used for error correction. So let's just give you a quick demo of it before we open it up and show you the electronics inside. So we turn it on and look at that beautiful orange glow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now you add and you negative a takeaway, both have equals on. I never get why vintage calculators kind of do it like that rather than just having a separate equals key or it combined with the add key they always seem they usually tend to combine they usually tend to do it a bit weird it's a bit bizarre just the way the early chipsets were done you got a constant mode which is something to do with mon multiplication chain mode i don't really know what those two do you got floating point decimal you got four digit decimal two digit decimal power switch, your standard keypad, which is a nice mechanical one. There we go, so we can see the uh, display digits right there. C for error. Also, if you divide by zero, so uh, what is it? One divided by zero, or zero divided by something is, yeah. Error, it doesn't try and calculate it like this one does, so if you do say. So, one divide by zero. We it tries to work it out because it's well not very advanced. This one is from 1973. This unit's from 1974. So this is my newer of vintage calculators. And a fun thing I discovered today, which I will give you a quick demo of, is you can actually see it calculate. It's not very, uh, you don't have a lot of time to see it, but if you film it on a slow cam, slow mo camera, such as my work phone, all is good. Right, let's power it off and take it apart because this wouldn't be the EEPROM 9 if we didn't take shit apart. So I'll make sure I unplug it because high voltage present and I've been bitten by the mains before and it fucking hurts and I'd rather avoid it where possible. I'll bring the light because we need it for the circuit board and yes I have not pre-done it and yes you will have to watch me do this in real time so let's have a story about Wurzel Gummidge the um, person I have well ah oh, yes it's a 70s uh, TV show that my uh, dear old Aiden uh, kind of looks like oh fuck hang on I gotta get the door I locked them out. I locked them out for shits and giggles because they uh, keep locking me out. So. <laughs> A bit of trolling of the parents is always due. Trolling's fun. Trolling will always be fun. One screw, two screw, three screw, four screw, five screw. No. Now I have not seen anyone else align their screws like this where I do the ones which come out the exact holes and the exact classes. I'm the only person in the world who seems to do it like this. Someone mother wants you. Do you have to wait? Wait, that's a bit rude, isn't it? Indeed. But I'm busy. 
So, what was that? Something fell over. So, we have another loose screw in here. So, we put the case to one side, we'll clean that later, and... I think I found the second screw that was missing. Uh, let's get my tweezers because that's being a bastard to get out because we like things being a bastard to get out. We're masochists, we enjoy things being a bastard. Ah, oh, you little cunt. Come here. There we go. Okay. That means we've got shitty ready meals. Yay. <laughs> Ever the optimist. So first we've got the rear PCB, which you'll notice it has a, it's a single chip calculator. It also has this, which I think is something to do with the clock circuit for some reading up online. I have actually unplugged it, haven't I? Yes, I have good, so I shouldn't be getting a jolt zap or anything nasty off of it. So we will liberate it from the case. Pop that there. Uh, you are probably going to be... Yep. That'll be out the other keyboard hole. And we have this beauty. Look at that. And the chip is hundred and sixty volts, so we don't want to um, bridge our fingers across that. We might feel that. The chip is a TI TMS zero one oh six NC, made in nineteen seventy four, week thirty three. The other chip is a made in 36, week 36, an SN7406N, apparently part of the inverter circuit, and looks pretty damn neat. And the rear of the Panplex display, you can see the little nipple. Shall we caress the nipple? I like caressing nipples. Unfortunately, it's a little too uh, in an awkward position to try and lick. And then we have this beautiful display. And I think it would be a crime not to power it up with it opened up. Let's try and do this without killing ourselves. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> We're not dead. And we can see this board, this display in its full beauty. And it even makes a ominous buzzing noise. That's always fun. And that is the TI 3500 calculator. Thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.